my brain is not quite on yet, which it definitely should be because it's nine. I've been up since eight. What I've done so far is woken up, put on a podcast, then essentially ran out of bed. I find that if I'm in bed too long, I just procrastinate getting up at all. And I'll be in bed for like three hours comfortably. I drag myself out of bed and then, oh, hello. I dragged myself out of bed, ran downstairs and made a coffee. Tried my absolute best to not go on social media first thing in the morning. Did it work? No, but I was only on it for like two minutes, which is a win for me. I came upstairs, did my morning skincare, did some under eye masks. They're the only things I've ever tried for my under eyes that I feel like actually do work. And then here we are. I'm trying to make a conscious decision at the moment to really maintain like a work-life balance. I feel like I slip into doing too much of one or too much of the other. What seems like the only solution to that is to consciously think about it. So today I've planned out, scheduled my day so that I can get a good amount of uni work done and still be able to relax and then go out this evening. My plan for right now, I'm gonna do my first hour, hour and a half long stint of work. If I feel like I've been not working hard enough, the one thing that really helps me get back onto the work grind is thinking about what I'm actually interested in doing. So, for example, today, I do have an essay in trust law that definitely needs doing, but I really don't want to do it. And I'm sure one day I'll wake up and be more interested in doing trusts. At the moment, I feel like I get a good amount of reading done. I'm not going to take the piss with this. I know that I have to do all this work. If I know in my heart of hearts that the only reason I'm reading something is because I'm trying not to read something else, that defeats the whole point. It's 20 past nine. I will take my first break at half past ten and we'll see how much work I get done. I got this for Christmas. It's fantastic. It's so thick. Sometimes I just like to stretch without any video or like guide or anything like that. It's nice to just get my head out of my head and like into my body again if that makes any sense because a lot of what I'm reading is so traumatic. For my dissertation and also for one of my units, a lot of what I'm reading about is like sexual violence against women. That's not something I want to be thinking about all the time. For my own mental health, doing something like stretching is good. My whole shoulder just clicked. I hope you enjoyed that. Back to work. I'm expecting a package very shortly. I will show you in my second break. Otherwise I won't do any work. I'll open it and I'll just be wanting to play with it until lunch. I don't know, I wanna not do something as traumatizing. I'll do some IT law. That's a mixture of reading and watching videos. <laughs> I went a little bit over my work, it's now one. And now my package came, it's from Bird and Blend. For those that watch me regularly, I'm sure it comes as absolutely no surprise that I got something from Bird and Blend yet again. Let's do a little unboxing, shall we? I always love like the, oh, the initial rip. First of all, I love making tea. Like the whole process is so nice. It's very calming because you have to wait. And then Bird and Blend are so sustainable. The whole experience, you don't feel guilty about anything. And also it's not that expensive. So yeah, I love Bird and Blend a lot. Emily told me to party on. Love a little pun, thank you to Emily. I got two free ones because they always do that. Oh, these are, oh, these are lit. I'm not even joking. These are two of my favorites. I love Butter Brew. Stunning. I almost got like a full thing of butter brew. It's really good. And then gingerbread chai is also really good. But I prefer my teas to be caffeinated and this doesn't have caffeine in it. Unless I'm having a herbal tea and it's like late at night. They don't need to have like a huge amounts, but I just, yeah, I prefer it. So the first thing I got is this thing. It's called a brudini. It brews and then it like pees out the tea. It's really fantastic. I'll just have to show you because I've never seen a contraption quite like this. And then I've got a selection of teas. Some of them I have never tried before. I got Belle's breakfast, which is black tea and rose, which I'm so excited to have. And then this is Vicky's sponge cake, which is black tea and raspberry. I did their little quiz that told me what tea I'd like the most and they said that one, so I got it. And then chocolate digestives is one of my favorites from the advent calendar, so I got this as well. It tastes like chocolate digestives, definitely, but not in like an overpowering, like sickly sweet way, which is what I love about all their teas. I feel like I'm brown nosing them. This is not sponsored. I mean, I wish, but this is not sponsored. I love all their teas because they aren't overpoweringly sweet and you can just appreciate them for what they are. And then I got a bigger, pack of dozy girl which i love i love dozy girl to put me to bed this is chamomile lavender and rose these are all loose leaf because now i've got my brudini i can just pop them all in here that's everything i got let me try it out and show you oh 
Oh my god. I'm back upstairs now. I'm gonna do one final stint of work and then I'm gonna get ready to go out. I'm gonna edit, I think, because not only do I really enjoy editing, it's technically work. It's stuff I need to get done for a certain deadline. I will catch up with you in two hours and I'll start getting ready for this evening out. Oh, I haven't even told you what I'm doing this evening. I am going on a double date. I've never gone on a double date before. It's like so exciting. I'll tell you more about that later, but for now, editing. <laughs> finished working for today. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's pretty aggressive. I need to get ready, but I don't know whether to get ready in anticipation of it being raining. I don't know. It's five. Usually my work day would end at like eight, but because I'm going out this evening, I'm finishing now so that I can enjoy getting ready. This is not a common occurrence for me. I don't go out that often. And so when I do, I love taking the time to like properly get dolled up, you know? I don't know what kind of vibe I want to go for today because I think it's quite chill. I'm not gonna go crazy, but I want to look you. I'll see you in three, two, one. I'm sure that transition snapped. Now all I need to do is get dressed and I need to leave in like 10 minutes. So I always do this. Is it a shock? No. I think I know what I'm gonna wear, which is a change from old routine. I was brainstorming while I was doing my makeup and I'm thinking of doing a bodysuit. I've got two, so I'll try them both on. I'll end up with one of these guys on and then a pair of jeans. I'll show you which one I land on. I think I prefer the black over the white. I think that for like a date night, which is like essentially what this is, you kind of always got to go black. Although my chest is completely out. So let's I quite like it with these little bits up because then it looks like I'm doing something like... Or is that kind of gross? I don't... Oh, bro, I have no idea. On camera it looks way worse. In real life, the difference between my face and my body is like not at all. Whatever. I'll probably just do the same jewellery I wear every day for the hair. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll wear it in a bun on the way there and then I'll take it out and then it'll be nice and wavy. At the restaurant and I'll do these chunky guys. I'm thinking because it is kind of like gross weather. I was gonna wear a fur jacket but I'm not sure. I know it's not waterproof but listen, it keeps me warm. If any of my coats are gonna get wet, I'd rather this one do. And then my sibling got me this for Christmas and it's fantastic. Now I'm covered and I'm ready to go. I'll show you what I got up to this evening and I'll see you later. It was so cute. It was so nice to hang out with everyone. I had a really lovely time. I am so f***ing tired though. Oh my god. It's actually not late, but because I woke up kind of early, I feel like I've been awake for like five days. I barely drank, even though we were at a pub. I ordered a tonic water. Today's been really good. I really like the new routine. I struggle with decision paralysis a lot. The pressure for me to make a decision often makes me not make a decision at all. So eliminating that, crazy, life-changing. I guess that's my daily routine now. Finding a work-life balance is so hard, oh my god. And I also do not have it down just because I've had one good day. It will take trial and error and I'm sure there'll be off days and all the rest of it, you know. I'm gonna finish my skincare and then very quickly fall asleep. Thank you for keeping me company as always. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye! Bye.